Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our task for today is lesson 5. We are simplifying a series of operations and whole numbers involving more than two operations using the PMDAS or GMDAS rule. But before we proceed to our main task, let us first define PMDAS rule. PMDAS rule an acronym for parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. There is also a set of rules that prioritize the order of calculation, that is, which operation is used in which order. So yung PMDAS, uh, our PMDAS rule ang magiging guide natin para alam natin kung ano bang operation ang kailangan natin gamitin. So once na nagkamali ka ng perform sa operation na ito, you will arrive at the wrong answer. So, ito yung mga steps to perform the order of operations using PMDAS rule. Perform the operations inside the parentheses, beginning with the innermost pair. So, unahin muna natin i-perform ang pair o ang expression na nasa loob ng parentheses. Then, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. So, sunod sa parentheses. Either mag-multiply tayo or mag-division. Depende sa uh, hiningi ng sagot ng ating Then, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. So, sunod na, after natin mag-multiply and mag-divide, sunod na natin ang addition and subtraction. So, pwede rin silang magkapalit. Pwede rin maunang mag-subtract bago mag-add, then add bago mag-subtract. Atandaan na ang PMDAS rule ay gabay lang natin para sa pag-simplify ng order of operations. So let us try to simplify this expression 35 minus 6 times 3 using PMDAS rule. Okay, again, what is PMDAS? PMDAS stands for parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, dito sa ating expression, ang operations na involved ay subtraction and multiplication. Since dapat daw, unahin daw natin ang parentheses, pero dito sa ating expression, walang uh, nakagroup. So, sunod sa parentheses ay multiplication. So, i-perform muna natin ang multiplication. So, we're going to multiply 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 80. Then, isulat ang mga natitirang number sa expression. So, 35 minus 18 is 17. So, 17 is the final answer. Okay, so let us simplify 2 times 17 divided by 3, that's 8. So, from this expression, lahat ng operations are involved. So, we're going to use PEMDAS rule to simplify this expression. So, again, ang PEMDAS rule stands for parentheses, multiplication, and subtraction. Since dito sa ating expression ay wala namang nakaparentheses or nakagroup, magpo-proceed tayo sa dalawang operation sa multiplication or division. Pwede nating pagsabayin mag-multiply, then at the same time, mag-divide tayo. Kasi pinaghihiwalay sila ng subtraction. subtraction. Okay, so i-multiply, pagsabayin natin mag-multiply, and mag-divide. So, 2 times 70 is 180. Para write the subtraction symbol, 9 divided by 3. Okay, so meron na tayong 140 minus 3 plus 8. So sa subtraction and addition, sa ganitong expression, pwede na natin siyang isimplify if o i-perform ng simplification. So 140 minus 3 is 7. Saka tayo mag-a-add ng 8. To find the final answer, which is 
ilugay nyo ang ating final answer. Okay, let's simplify. 12 minus 3, open and close parentheses, plus 18 divided by 6. So, using PEMDAS rule, uunahin natin isimplify yung nasa loob ng parentheses. Itong 12 minus 3. Kailangan natin siyang tanggalin sa loob ng parentheses by simplifying the expression. So, 12 minus 3 is equal to 18. Then, isulat natin yung matitirang uh, number section. Okay, so we have 9 plus 18 divided by 6 times 7. Okay, next step, tap sa tayo sa parentheses, punta naman tayo ngayon sa multiplication and division. So, uh, meron tayo dito ang division and multiplication. So, ano dyan sa dalawa ang uunahin natin? Magmumultiply ba tayo o magdi-divide? Okay, tingnan natin. Kung itest natin na magmultiply mo na tayo 6 times 7, itry natin. 6 times 7, ang sagot dyan ay si 42. Tapos, i-divide natin yung 18 by 42. So, ano magiging answer doon? So, diba, decimal. So, ibig sabihin, hindi muna tayo magmumultiply. Kailangan muna nating mag-divide. Kailangan muna nating mag-divide. Okay, so 9 plus 18 divided by 6 times 7. Okay, so pwede na tayo ngayon mag-multiply. Kasi mas mauunang mag-multiply bago tayo mag-add. So, multiply muna natin ang 3 times 6. 9 plus 3 times 7 is 21. Then, we can now add the two numbers. So, the answer is 30. Again, bakit inuna natin mag-divide? Kasi kapag sinunod natin mag-multiply tayo, Ang kalalabasan is 42 and we cannot divide 18 by 42. Pero we can divide 18 by 6. So, uunahin muna natin, isimplify ang division or i-perform ang division to get the final answer. So, let us simplify 23 minus 12 times 2 divided by 6. So, since the expression na to ay walang parenthesis, we will now proceed with multiplication or division. So, tingnan from left to right kung ano ba dyan yung uunahin nating operation. Kapag inuna natin ang division, ang 2 is not divisible by 6. Therefore, mas mauuna ang multiplication. So, 12 times 2 Sulat natin yung mga natitirang numbers, 23 minus 24 divided by 6. Pwede bang i-divide ang 24 to 6? Pwede. So, the answer is 4. Then, kunin na natin ang difference ng dalawang number, 23 minus 4 is 19. So, 19 is the final answer. So, kung napansin nyo, kanina, nauna tayong mag-divide bago mag-multiply. Ngayon naman, nauna tayong mag-multiply bago mag-multiply. So, ang PEMDAS ay acronym lang yan. Tatandaan nyo na pwedeng maunang mag-divide bago mag-multiply. Ganon din sa addition and subtraction, pwede tayong maunang mag-subtract bago Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.